Hi guys, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look at what we have for you here today. We have both sets from Spider-Man Homecoming. And after we build them, this is how great it looks. I can't wait to take a look at these closer with you. So guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, it's free. Please follow us by clicking on the subscribe button below. Click on the little bell so you can get notifications every time we have a brand new video come out. And guys, comment to us what you like, what you want to see next, and where in the world you're watching from. So guys, I can't wait to get started. So what do you say we get started right now? Welcome back friends to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I'm so excited to bring you the complete set, both of these from uh, Lego sets from Spider-Man Homecoming. This was such an awesome movie. It was so fun to watch. They did a great job casting Peter Parker, uh, Tom Holland as Peter Parker, and these sets are so great. They borrowed some scenes from the movie. They're a little bit different than what actually happened in the movie, but great job with the action figures. I can't wait to take a look at these. And first, we have the ATM heist battle. It has when, if you remember in the movie, Spider-Man saw that there was a lot of commotion going on at the bank just across the street. We had four thugs, actually, I believe, not just two, but this place that has two of them. They all were wearing Avengers masks, and it was kind of funny, and it was actually really cool, the, um, the action they had going on. And they all had these weapons that were created by the Vulture and his team that were leftover parts from the Chitari from Avengers the first one so it was really cool how they tied it all together so if you look we have spider-man has this really cool power blast that comes out of his hand it's really cool how Lego does that and these two masked robbers they do have two faces so we can see the regular face and this one with the Hulk mask this one with the Captain America mask got a motorcycle right here we can pull the ATM out and money flying everywhere super cool and then this shoots out right there let's take a look at the back the package on here is awesome so of course here they're like battling all over this ATM uh, inside this bank. It's only this big so of course it doesn't attach over here. And there's another one of the faces it has. Let's see what that says right there. Cool. And so it opens up right here. It's got a hinge. This window flies out. Uh, the ATM comes off. We have all sorts of suggested play. We have these which would be Lego bricks that are, that are money. And if you pinch right here, or just kind of push it down, that goes flying the web. It's got a comic book inside, and let's take a look to see what it actually looks like. Okay, well, here it is. And in case you were wondering, it's unbelievably cool. It's super cool. So let's take a look at Spider-Man first, right? And let's zoom in right here. Spider-Man's got great detail. Look at the mask. So his, his suit. It's got great color. Lego did an outstanding job on this. He's even got a little bit of detail on his pants of his suit right here. Look at his arms. Look at the Spider-Man symbol on the back. I love the way this figure looks. And then of course he comes with these. It's really cool how if you put that in there and pinch it down right here, it goes flying out right there. So if I let it go, boom. I love that. That's super awesome. So there's not a whole lot else to show you about this Spider-Man figure, but it's, I love it. It looks awesome. So let's set him aside. Next, let's look at this figure right here, one of our robbers. They did a cool little job right here with the mask. He's got a little bit of facial hair rocking right here. And he's got a second face too, in case you want this one, where he's got kind of like a black eye or something, missing a tooth. So that looks awesome. He's got this weapon right here that's made over from leftover parts from the Chitari which were the aliens from from the first Avengers movie he's got this jacket he's got a cool little like outfit going on and this weapon is meant to show like the energy pulling the ATM off so that's what it's that's why it's a chain so it can just drag it off and it's uh, they didn't have a big huge chain weapon in the movie but uh, it's the best way we can show them pulling the thing off so that looks really cool set him aside now and let's take a look at this other ATM robber. He's got this Hulk mask. It's not Frankenstein, it's supposed to be Hulk. And his other face is band-aid right here over his eyebrow. He's got a little bit of scratched up face. So we want to keep this one. This one's really cool. He's got this weapon. Now if you remember in the movie, this had like a laser that's cutting everything up. So 
This one is supposed to be the one that like pulled stuff with energy and like lifted Spider-Man up and down and pushed them around. This one is the one that was a laser that's actually cutting everything. It's really cool how they designed it. And then of course you press this down and it fires off. Watch this. Love how Lego's done that. So that looks outstanding. And um, yeah, he's got this really cool outfit. So I love the way this character looks. We'll set him aside too. And he comes with this really boss looking motorcycle right here, or bike, right? So we can just put a figure on there. Let me take this one off. You can actually just put him right here. You just put him standing up. You turn the little hands and they can actually grab onto it. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? So I love the way this Lego bike looks. So love it love it looks cool so super super cool all right let's we'll set that aside now and let's take a look at our bank right here so n bank it has some decals for us to put on it opens up right here you know what let's see if i can get even a little bit closer hold on okay here we are even a little bit closer so it's awesome how this opens up right here and let's take a look at the front anyway. So we have this really cool looking fire hydrant right here. We have a door right here. Oops, well, <laughs> there went our fire hydrant. So the door just, of course, just opens like this. Um, we have this piece right here, which if you spin, the front window comes flying out. So that's really cool for our action scenes. Just push it down right there. So once again, it's this, and then all you gotta do is pop that down there like that okay so we have a cool little bit of detail right here not a ton of detail on the inside here but we have all the detail that's on this side with the ATMs so for you to get an idea come to the back and if you push this this ATM comes leaning forward and boom all the money that's in here comes flying out this is where you keep the all the simoleons look at that all the moolah all the scratch. Sorry, those are all <laughs> slang terms for money. All the clams. Okay, and then you have another ATM here. So this one, of course, you can just push it out. And this is the one where you can use this energy beam. Attach this. And you can drag it off like that. It's supposed to be hovering away. So, if you look, this one has a little compartment. And this one has all that cold hard cash in there hundreds and hundreds just pretend of these instead of being a $100 bill maybe this is a stack of $100 bills so that's really cool that goes right up in here and all you got to do is push it back in by lining it up right there and then once again just to see this one again you just push this lever down push this lever down this comes out and then if you wanna, you can push it faster and all the money goes flying. And now I gotta find where all the money went. Okay, awesome. So then of course we have like little pretend security cameras and all that other sort of stuff. So this is what the back looks like. It's not really meant to be like playing here on the back and having your characters over here. This is meant to be more functional. And then over here we have a little piece of web. So that's kind of cool. We can do whatever here. We can have him getting ready to jump off. We don't even have to attach anybody. It just looks really cool. See, look at that. Awesome. So, love this playset. Love how cool it looks. And love the fact that we have these cool vulture weapons. Got you. So, let me know what you think. Comment down there. Let's move on to our next set. Love, love, love this one. And this next one is the Beware the Vulture set. It looks outstanding. We have Spider-Man right here, again with a power blast. We have, this is the Iron Man suit, so it's more of an Iron Man sentry uh, because he's not actually in there. We have Vulture and we have the Shocker. Technically the second Shocker in the movie because the first one got disintegrated. Yeah, if you remember that part, so <laughs> an accident. 
This is an, an amazing looking Bolcher uh, minifigure. Look at that. You're going to see how huge it is. It's big. We have our Iron Man Sentry. It should have put Sentry here, but maybe they would have given away too much of the movie since these sets came out before the movie. And then, of course, we have the Shocker right here and Spider-Man swinging into action. This was a really cool scene where Spider-Man was chasing after this truck. Then the Vulture appeared and Iron Man was never actually, not even the Sentry was actually even in this scene. But I'm glad they were able to, to add him so we could have him in one of our play sets, right? So this happened when he's chasing after this car, uh, this vehicle right here and the, the door in the back comes out. So this looks really, really cool. I love how right here it has these to fire off from the Vulture right here. I love how this huge cannon comes out of the back of this truck right here. Not exactly how it happened in the movie, but cool toy set. Um, I love how these move right here. There's a lot of moving parts. Super cool how this looks right here with the Shocker and the Vulture with their guns. And you just press that and that pops out. I uh, love how you do this and those go shooting out. Comic book, of course, included. So let's take a quick look. Now, in, in the movie, there was not two of these Shocker gloves. There was just one, like here. So just throwing that out there. Um, and yeah, let's let's take a look. Let's get this let's get this open. Let's get this built. All right, guys, and this looks so amazing. I love the way these look. Now, there's a little bit of there's a lot of white here, and it's washing out because of the lights. But I'll adjust that in just a little bit because I want you to see how outstanding this looks. Now, I really don't have to show you too much about this Peter Parker. Uh, Spider-Man right here because it looks identical to the other one now if I move this out He's got this really cool web going on right here, which you can hang him from or you can have him like kind of chasing after stuff And I gotta just pop that right on the hand Then he can swing into action So that looks awesome. So we'll set him aside This which we can attach the car door um, So we have Iron Man Sentry right here if you'll notice, he's like got this really cool like hover stuff. But if you open the the, the mask, which is one of my favorite things to do, because this mask is super amazing. Look at this. Whoa! There's no one in there. That's right. Because if you've seen the movie, uh, the first time he was not in there. The suit saved Spider-Man. That was awesome. That was one of my favorite scenes where he's like. Uh, Tony Stark tells him, you're lucky this place had Wi-Fi, kid. So, and can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? I love the way he kind of stumbled across that. So that was awesome. This mask looks amazing, let me tell you. It's a little, it's great how it opens, it's great how it shows that. The detail on this minifigure is amazing. Let me zoom in so you can see, look at that arc reactor. So incredible, amazing, look at this. Love that. I'm going to set him aside. Let's take a look at our shocker right here. So, if you remember, this was the second shocker in the movie. The first one got disintegrated by the Vulture when they were in that argument. He's like, Vulture was like, I'm the shocker. I'm the shocker. I shock people. What is this? Pro wrestling? He's making fun of them and then they end up getting in a fight. And then, of course, he disintegrates him on accident because he thought it was like the, the levitation or whatever gun. Anyway, so then he gives him this. He says, now you're the shocker. And this this weapon that he puts on his fist right here <laughs> got all this crazy energy <laughs> so that was super cool and this looks like him uh, hoodie right here that looks great we'll set him aside and then what we've all been waiting for look at this amazing vulture I'm gonna show you what it looks like close up and then show you what it looks like uh, from far away because it's so massive he did a great job. Does he have two faces? No, he has one. One face right here. So, great detail on the mask. Look at that. Amazing detail on the mask. Amazing detail on the jacket, on the outfit. Everything looks great. We have these, which fire off if you press this. So, we're already familiar with that. Now, let's zoom out. Look at this. Boom! So, this can, can articulate back and forth right here. Okay, does a great job of doing that. These move back and forth. And they look really cool if you kind of feather them out like that. That looks awesome, right? And you dig it. And then this moves up and down and around because it's on a ball joint. 
So these are the ones that had like the hover fans. It was like so. This entire outfit looks spectacular. Looks amazing. It blows me away. I think it looks wonderful. And so, what a great, great, great uh, minifig right here. And obviously, it's not a minifig anymore, but the minifig goes right here and makes for great playtime. So, here's Spider Man. So, love the way this looks, and it can stand up just like that. You can move that back right there. Love this. It looks outstanding. Put that and that and that. Those dudes right there. And oops, let's move a little bit more so we can see this truck. Look at this truck. Um, let me lower the brightness on here so you can get a better idea for this truck because it's amazing. All right. So there we are. I wanted you to get a better idea of what this looked like because the lights are super bright in here. So this truck looks outstanding. You can fit your minifigure in here. And just pop this off notice how it doesn't attach very many places that way it's easy to pop on and off Oop! looks like that's getting in the way you can have your minifigure just sit down right there got outstanding detail we got these rear view mirrors we got these cool wheels that roll really well and this is my favorite part it opens up like this and like this so we have this cannon that comes up and out notice so it can articulate in multiple directions, but only forward, unfortunately. And then of course it has this, where if you spin it, we saw this uh, in our other ones, this fires off like we saw in our Guardians of the Galaxy. So you just spin this and watch. And it's super easy to do. It's awesome. Let's just put these back real quick. Hopefully I can do it. Uh, you know what, I'll do this in a minute. I'll just put those on right there. Okay, and then of course we have some little boxes right here. I'll show you what's in one of the boxes. Let's see. Great. So, we have, boom, some more Chitauri weapon stuff, right? That's what all this purple is supposed to be. Put that in there. It's being transported right here. Put those back in there. This kind of just goes back and forth right here. Cool how it does that. And then of course we have pieces to make this weapon right here. So this gun, boom, go like this. And then it's supposed to make this Chitauri weapon. Now this part right here doesn't go to it, but you can definitely do this to embellish it even more to make it look like, wow, or whatever, you know? You can take this part off, you can take that part off. You can do whatever you want. This is your Lego playset, right? You can put it here and have it shooting like that. So, I love the way this looks. But this, this is the way it was originally made. So you can just pull this off and put all the stuff back on there. So, we'll just put this right back where it was. This half of this gun goes here. This half of this gun goes here. And we'll put this back here in this little box. Put that right in there. Awesome. Put that there. Put that there. And looks like I'm only missing one of those things now. That's all right. We'll pick that up in a little bit as soon as I find it. <laughs> all right. So you tuck this back away. There we are. Uh-oh, where am I stuck? Stuck somewhere. Oh, it's because of that box. Get in there, box. And then this closes back up. Look at this. How's my driving? Shocking, instead of call this number. Got great little, ooh, why am I losing focus there? So, great little sticker decals right here, as if there's like a smash on the front where you're exposing the engine of the I don't know why I'm not coming in focus, guys. I'm sorry about that. Let me fix that. All right, sorry, I made it bright again because I guess I wasn't getting good focus. But um, we have right here where it looks like it, the hood busted open to see the inside of the engine. And there's just such, they did such a great job with this vehicle. I love these sets. So, would I recommend them? Absolutely, look how great these look. Let's get everything all set up so you can see how amazing everything looks. 
And here we are. Look how outstanding everything looks. Let's take a close up so you can see how amazing everything is. Once again, let's start with the vulture because that looks so incredible. We have both of our Spider-Mans, which really there's no difference between them. And we have our Iron Man Sentry. We have our two thugs. We have our shocker right here, our bank, and we have our truck. Just, wow, let's open this up so we can look even more cool, right? Look at that. So, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I've had a great time. Hope you have too. Please give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. Let us know which one you like the most out of these two sets or if you love both of them. What do you want to see next on our channel? Where in the world are you watching from? So guys, if you're not subscribed to our channel already, please click the subscribe button below to follow us and click the bell so that you can get notifications every time we have a new video come out, guys. So thanks again for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G.